Hi Danish Tubar and welcome back to my Learning Danish channel where we explore all the exciting aspects of the Danish language. Today I have a super exciting topic and a very important topic for you. We're going to delve into the three prepositions of time. E, om, for and silen. The last one or two being a combi. So grab your Danish notebooks and let's get going. Danish E and arm are used in all kinds of ways in Danish, but we're going to focus on time. That is the past, the duration of time and the future. Let's start with the versatile preposition E. In Danish, E is used to express a duration of time. For example, vi danser i fem timer, apparently like this. We danced for five hours. So you can hear here that in English you would say four. So it's tempting to also use the word four. But when you're talking about an amount of time that something happened, and that can be something with a start, something with an end, or it can be something that is also finished, like we did it for this long, soska de bu e. Then you need to use e. Vi dansel i fem timer. Remember, e in this context is a time marker to tell you how long something has been going on for. Or was going on for. It's a handy Danish preposition to have in your Danish toolbox. In Danish and in regards to time, far is only re- is only used when you pair it with silen, referring to the past. For example, jeg så pandaen for ti år siden. I saw the panda ten years ago. Very Duolingo phrase. So you put the amount of time in between far and silen. And in English you would say ago. A more common example could be Jeg flyttede to Denmark for fem år siden. I moved to Denmark five years ago. Additionally, siden can also be used to mean since, such as uh, Vi har kendt hinanden siden vi var unge. Vi har kendt hinanden siden vi var unge. We've known each other since we were young. Lastly, we have the preposition om, and it has many uses around time, but its primary use is to refer to the future. For example, hun sender dig et link om fem minutter. She's going to send you a link in five minutes. So this time you have the English in. Again, it can be tempting to think you need to use the preposition E. But no, if you're talking about future, something that's coming up, use om. So, by using om, you can effortlessly convey something that's going to happen in the future. It's a simple, effective way to express upcoming events. And there you have it, Danish tubers. We have covered three essential prepositions. E, om, fan silen, as a combination pair. I'm counting it as one. E, duration of time. In English, you say four. I've played football for this long. You have spilled full about e fem år. Om talking about the future, something that's coming up. In English, you say in in five minutes. Om fem minutter. And for and silen the past. In English, you say ago. Put your time frame, the amount of time in between for and silen. By mastering these prepositions, you can navigate time in Danish effortlessly. Tusen tak fordi du så med. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your Danish learning friends. And follow the channel, of course, if you didn't do so already. I don't know why you're here if you're not following. Get it done. If you also want to practice using these prepositions, you can do so on my blog. You can read everything that I've talked about and you can practice with a quiz where you need to insert the correct preposition. Tak for denne gang. Og vi ses. Danish tune.